Uh, hi everyone, it's uh, David again. Um, I have uh, another tool which I'd like to uh, show you uh, today. Um, oddly enough, uh, not a cutting tool, which I know is a bit strange for uh, for the Tyrone Models uh, store, but um, I have been looking around for um, other useful tools, um, other useful accessories, which aren't cutting tools, uh, which aren't um, anything that you, you, know, you need to cut, uh, you know, cut, cut your styrene with. Now, one of the things I do a lot of is um, uh, painting figures. Uh, you know, particularly 135th, uh, fifth scale. Um, so of course, um, to hold those figures, um, I've been using um, lots of these. Yeah, you know, pretty, pretty uh, um, simple. Uh, you know, there are, there's various, uh, various brands uh, available. You know, uh, this one um, from a well-known uh, gaming store, which I will uh, not name, um, has a, um, a spring-loaded uh, top, and they're absolutely fine. Um, you, you know, attach a, a cork uh, top. Um, I think this was. Um, uh, from a uh, supplier in the US, uh, which uh, which you may know, um, and they find they do a job. Um, uh, they you know they they're good in your in your hand etc. Um, but as you know across Tyrol models, I'm always looking for um, I, I guess the the next innovation. What's uh, what's next? How how can how can something like this uh, you know, be improved if at all? And if there's anything out there that uh, was actually um, uh, more useful or at least at least more usable i suppose uh, than uh, maybe uh, maybe these um so again i'd look at uh, the suppliers i know and um good old display of course uh, already have a um a hand voice uh, which i've been sort of testing for uh, for a while and uh, i'll show you that uh, show you that now i'll just put these uh, these aside uh, just so we can kind of do comparisons and things like that so let me just reach across and get the uh, get the hand voice um so they call this the uh, the handheld mini voice, um, and I, I guess that's absolutely true because it is a, a literally a small handheld vo voice. Um, as usual, it comes in uh, you know, displays um, you know, great uh, great packaging. Um, you get some simple instructions on how to assemble the thing, but it's pretty uh, pretty intuitive to be honest. Um, in the box, uh, you get um, uh, some pipe, uh, which I'll show you what to do with that later, um, and also some uh, some pins, which also fit in the in the voice uh, in the voice um, as well. So the voice itself um, is, of course, in Dispay's um, usual colour scheme. Uh, again, this is <clears throat> excuse me, it's all metal. Uh, again, it's this anodized uh, metal that they uh, they use. I'm not sure if it's aluminium, but uh, it's the same metal you'll see um, across all of their devices, um, like the um, uh, the grinding pen or their um, you know, their precision knife. Uh, they're all uh, they're all pretty much uh, made out of the same um, same material. When I first unboxed it, um, yeah, the the impression is again it's it's a piece of well engineered. Um, uh, a tool. Uh, it you know, really is. It, it does feel um, like a premium device. Uh, it, it does feel good, uh, good in the hand. Um, let me put that down for a second. You also get a base uh, for, uh, for for standing that on, and you also get a, a pad which fits on the bottom of, of this. So let me put the packaging aside. So um, the the assembly is um, is pretty dead easy. Um, but let me just show you, I guess, the, the business end of this. It's basically a ball and socket joint uh, which they put on the on the end of a handle. Uh, in a sense, that's what it is. Um, you can uh, have this uh, at any angle you like, and there's a locking mechanism there which you screw in, and then you can lock that in any any position you uh, you like. You know, unscrew it, move it to a different position, um, and lock it, unlock it again, and of course. Um, I could instantly see where that was very useful uh, because often, um, because with these handles, everything is locked in a totally vertical position. Um, yes, you could do this, this kind of thing, uh, to move your to move your model around. But what's interesting is if you want to, I guess, fix the model in a certain certain position uh, for for painting. So if you want to do it at quite an acute angle, like that, for instance, um, you can't do it with that uh, because you need both hands. Which I'll show you in a second because they they thought about that good old display, uh, which is why the base is is a separate item, and I'll I'll explain that in a, in a second. So you can lock this in any position you like, um, whatever's comfortable for uh, for for you. Um, you know, very very useful uh, to be able to to do that. But let's uh, let's sort of lock it in a, a sort of upright position just just for now. Um, so it's a good locking mechanism. Yeah, you know, once that's locked. Yeah, you know, that's that's not going anywhere. Um, that's that's a good a good chuck. You know, tighten that up finger tight. Uh, you know, don't use a tool to tighten that. Just use it to use it for finger tightness. That's not going anywhere. 
you know, you're not going to suddenly, that's not going to move and uh, you've ruined your model. That's not going to happen, I don't think. Uh, I'd even argue you could put um, put parts in here, which which I've done. Um, and, uh, you know, you can you can move this uh, to, to any position you like and um, and do some cutting or some, some grinding even. Um, I've used this with the grinding pen, for instance, when I wanted to take a little bit of styrene off. Um, but, I did, but it wasn't going to work with a, um, uh, with a craft knife. So that's the actual barrel of the thing itself. Um, what you do is uh, unscrew it, literally, uh, and it is just a chuck on the end of a, of a handle. Um, you can unscrew this and you can put stuff in there. You can hand, you can actually uh, hold whatever piece you need to, uh, to, to paint or um, uh, yeah, if you need to make any modifications and yeah, that kind of thing. Um, that screws up as you'd expect for, for any kind of uh, desktop, uh, desktop voice. Let's put that down for a second. Um, now in this bag, you get some accessories. Uh, what you get is, let me just put these on on my on my bench. All these uh, these are metal feet. Again, these are all metal. Uh, again, they're made out of I think some kind of anodized. It's, I think it's aluminium. Um, but these fit into into the holes here. And the idea is that uh, you decide where these fit depending on which part you want to you want to hold. Um, because obviously parts aren't all symmetrical, are they? Um, some are very regular shapes, but they've thought about that. So you can put these in any position you, you like. You've also got one stage further, of course, and you don't want to be holding um, a delicate parts against a metal, uh, a metal structure like, you know, like this. Um, so what they've done is going to give you a bit of, a bit of rubber pipe um, and you literally just put it over the end. Um, you know, I've done all the others, but I'll just do the last one so you can see. So you put the whole thing into the vice. Put the pipe on the end like like that and then you just snip the end off to the top of that there it is put that aside and then that's your that's your new foot so you get some extra extra pipe i'd say i've done all the rest and there's that amount of pipe uh, left over uh, so there'll easily easily be enough pipe to do another set um, if, if this uh, this rubber gets damaged or um, if if, uh, if it gets uh, you get any paint on it and you can't get it off um, you've got enough pipe to be able to uh, to be able to replace that uh, again so the, again, as I said the idea is you just put these wherever you need to inside your voice to hold uh, hold your part and then um, you literally just screw that up um, as as tight as you as you need to to hold your hold your part, but you can move these around um, so they can be uh, you know different uh, different shapes uh, different uh, if that's that's kind of a regular shape there. If I just put my finger in, uh, you can see there's an angle there. Um, you can move these and yeah whatever you need to do uh, to to hold whichever part um, you uh, you actually uh, you actually need. Um, let me just reach for a uh, a ruler. Because I know what you're going to ask is uh, how how far does this vice open to? Uh, let me just measure it. So I'll measure it from there to there, and that is five and a half centimeters. So that's the kind of size of part you you should be able to hold with uh, with this thing when it's open to its absolute maximum. Um, you know, it takes a while to get to the end, of course, because uh, it's a screw thread. Um, but again, um, it's uh, it's solid. That's not going to move around. Um, I didn't feel that it was uh, you know a badly made um, uh, screw mechanism at all. Um, when I was holding parts um, with this, it was absolutely absolutely fine. So I say, let me put uh, put the rest in just so you can see what the whole thing looks like assembled. So that's with all of the the feet uh, actually um, in the um, in the hand uh, hand voice. Now, of course. What can you hold? Um, well, um, it's it's basically anything that is. Um, it's it, the, the versatility is where I liked um, because I, what I was doing um, uh, even was taking all of these out um, like that. Uh, let me just get a get a figure. And so you as well as I do, of course, when you're trying to paint uh, figures with uh, with good old uh, cork uh, cork handles, um, you know you're sticking bits of um, paper clip. Uh, into the feet, aren't you? Uh, and then stabbing it into into that. But of course, what what so you can do with this one is is tighten this up as much as you were as much as you need to to get it to the side. And what I've been doing is is doing that and then tightening that up like that, and then that holds my figure like that, which which I found uh, to be um, much more um, versatile because I can unscrew this and then move move this to any angle i i want when i'm when i'm painting um 
which is been very very useful i must admit over over the last few weeks i've been testing uh, testing this thing um so you can do like that um of course a lot of you guys um, are going to be painting uh, miniatures uh, which use um, uh, these bases yeah um, so again that will expand and you can put the base um, uh, inside uh, the the feet and hold that nice and solidly and obviously if you have a, a cork base you can still stick stick a figure in like that if you wanted to you can still do that um, but if you actually want to uh, paint a miniature on a physical base and you start doing some uh, some actual uh, sort of mini diorama you could do that as well um, there's no reason why the, the finished base couldn't be held in place with this uh, handheld uh, mini vice and it stays in place until you're finished now you could do the figure you could do the uh, the scenery the diorama whatever you need um, without having to to sort of take this off and move to a, a separate uh, separate handle again I like the versatility of that, which was uh, which was really nice. Now the other thing, uh, which I think is is very very useful. Now of course that will stand upon its own, kinda. Um, I would I wouldn't trust it. Uh, so Dispo, of course, thought well, okay. What what do most um, most models, particularly figure painters, what do they do? What's their workflow like? Well, if you're holding one of these, yeah. Um, then um, you're holding it and you're painting, you're painting, you're putting it down. That's, that's absolutely fine. But you don't have the versatility of the uh, the voice. Um, you know, that's, that's in a fixed position. Uh, the figure's probably going to be vertical. I can't move that figure to any any angle if it's more useful to get my, my paintbrush in or the angle of the light or whatever it is. So they thought about that. When I unpacked uh, this uh, this thing, I thought, well, there's a base there, but it doesn't attach to the to the handle. But there's a reason for that, which is pretty obvious once you understand how these things work. Um, the base sits on your on your desk, um, and that's how it sort of sits on your on your bench when uh, when you're using it. So you could angle your figure and leave it there, and you've got both hands free, which I use a lot uh, for, for for steadying your hand when you're painting, or if I'm using one of my finger palettes on this hand and the paintbrush in this one. Again, I can still paint. Yeah. I like the height because it's higher than most of these uh, these hand these handles, but again, it's the it's the whole point of being able to angle, and you could angle um, even if you've got one of these in uh, in situ. Um, you know, it's not going to move around because the uh, the vice is, is very uh, very tight when you want it to be. So you could have um, your figure on a on a base like that at a very acute angle, but you've still got both hands free. Brilliant. And of course, when you do want to pick it up, uh, you can just pick that up. Um, particularly when I want to do some uh, detailed work under my my magnifier, which obviously you can't see, um, I could do that. But then, if I need to do something with my uh, wet palette, um, I could put it down, and that base is nice and solid. I'm, I don't feel that's going to go anywhere. That's not going to tip over um, at all. It's it's not going to do that, even at an acute angle. What I would say, obviously, you're not going to be putting massively heavy things on this thing. Um, I haven't tested it with large busts, um, as I don't know how heavy they are. Um, they might, at this kind of angle, they might tip it, but I very much doubt it. Uh, I think the centre of gravity is good enough with these um, to hold pretty much anything in situ, um, including uh, fairly large scale busts. Don't know, haven't tested with those, I don't paint, uh, paint busts. Um, you know, most of my stuff is, as I say, it's 135th scale uh, figures. And obviously they're absolutely, absolutely fine. Uh, what they do give you is uh, a couple of stickies. Um, this goes on the bottom of, of this one uh, to, to give you a, a sort of non-slip uh, surface so it doesn't move around. Um, this little bit actually goes inside the uh, the chuck head. Again, display of sort of thought of that. Um, so if you do want to put something directly into the, into the chuck, obviously you don't want metal against metal. So again, you have a little sticky, uh, which is just just the right size and covers the uh, screw thread. That goes inside the chuck here, just to give you a bit of extra protection if you are putting something directly into this. So as I said, that's that's the, the sort of mini, uh, the mini handheld uh, voice. Um, as I say, I was looking for, for something that's uh, sort of innovated with my um, good old plastic handheld um, you know, figure, uh, figure painting uh, devices. And um, of course, Dispo had already thought about that, so I'd, so I'd get hold of one and uh, sort of see see if it was an innovation. Um, and I really like that. I, I, I like the, the, the weight in your hand as well. It is a very lightweight, absolutely. But you'll probably hear me say this a lot across the, the store, that a little bit of weight um, 
I don't know, it's it's all about the ergonomics again, isn't it? The usability. And I really like the fact that it's it's got a little bit of weight to it. Um, I, I feel that it's, it's something that you can just kind of grab hold of a bit better and hold a bit better because it's like that. Again, tapered, fits well in the hand, uh, lifties or righties, whatever you are. Um, I think it works, it works absolutely fine with both. It's de definitely a, a, a multi-use uh, tool. So yeah, that's that's the, the mini vice. Um, that's on the store right now. Uh, if, if you are looking for something to uh, sort of help you, I guess, paint your figures particularly better or easier or more efficiency, more accuracy, um, this thing you might want to take a, take a look at, particularly if you're struggling with uh, you know, with these. Uh, if you feel that they they are quite what you want, you, know, you put that down, um, and then you want to try and paint, uh, say, a, you know, a figure. Um, you know, with both hands. Uh, I don't feel that's gonna that's gonna move around. You know, and tips over. You, know, you just tap it and it's gone. This thing will not move. Uh, you know, this this thing's not gonna not gonna go anywhere. So there's no risk of it tipping over or it moving. Uh, the last thing you want when you're going in for that final touch on your, uh, say, a face, for instance, is is for your um, is for your handle to move. And it's very difficult to do it like that. You, you know, you do want both hands, and I, I do it like that to have, to sort of steady my steady my hand. So using that technique with this, I uh, worked really, really well. Um, I, uh, I was really impressed with uh, with uh, how this uh, actually uh, works in in practice. So again, um, have a have a look uh, if if it's uh, something you feel uh, might be an innovation for you. That's uh, that's on the store uh, store right now. Um, so any questions, any queries, uh, now the usual, uh, just do come back to me. But that's the uh, that's the mini uh, handheld voice from uh, from Dispay.